necklace for your wife? Uh, yes. I thought your wife liked roses. Excuse me. Do I know you? No. But I know you, Bill. Little relationship advice. If you're gonna step out on your wife, you need to think it through. Do work here. Because if you do, you're fired. I'm more like an independent contractor. Now you don't seem like a bad guy, Bill. You and your wife are having some problems. It happens. Now some women will just leave you. But some women, they might just hire a couple of guys to come to your office, dismantle your surveillance cameras, to make it look like a robbery gone wrong. Body falls from this height, it's messy. Of course, I don't care about making it look clean. Unlike your pal Elias. I don't know who you are, but you're threatening a captain. Okay, okay. Elias can't kill a cop without permission. Run this up the chain of command. Permission's been revoked. Tell Elias, if he so much as touches Detective Carter again, I will put him, you, everyone in the ground. You got that? Do you know why I'm so good at my job, Fusco? I can tell a dirty cop when I see one. You should try looking in the mirror. You know, you may think you've gone clean, found God, Buddha, some African shaman, but at the end of the day, your hands are still dirty, always will be. You hear that? I don't hear nothing. That's right. No sirens, no bullhorns. No one's coming to save you. No one cares. That guy, the one who tells you things, he used you. I let you rot like a piece of garbage. Might as well tell me who it is. At least you'll have the satisfaction of repaying the favor. You did get a first person to put a gun to my head? No. But I will be the last. Yeah, maybe you will. You've been shot. The craziest things go through your mind. Glad I put on clean underwear. Hid that stash of porn. Sorry that your son had to find out that his old man was a dirty cop. Then you realize you're gonna die. You try to go down doing something good. You wouldn't know about that, would you, dirty sack? Neil. Kind of, kind of close, don't you think? At least I'm not late. Anyway, pleasant as it is to talk, the board and I do need to know what your intentions are now that you own 8% of Vertanen. Actually, I've sold my shares in Vertanen. I had a tip that the price is about to take a nosedive. Tip? What tip? That senior management was about to have some very serious legal problems. In fact, I took my initial investment and I shorted your company to the tune of a half a billion shares. If you're betting against me, you clearly don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, I know exactly what kind of man I'm dealing with. And I know you don't care who you hurt to get what you want. I know the only thing you do care about is money. So that's what I'm going to take from you. Your money. All of it. You were right, Mr. Keller. Thanks to you, 
I never will have to invest in another company. from over there. Jessica. I'm not. I'm just heading back, actually. Where's your uniform? Uh, I got a new job. One of those jobs you can't talk about? <laughs> oh, yeah, I got engaged. I'm, I'm moving back east next month. His name's Peter. He's a lucky guy. I waited for you. I didn't ask you to. No. No, you didn't. You just left. Because you thought you'd get killed over there and that that would hurt me. But I think the truth is that it was easier for you to be alone. That's one of the things you learn over there. In the end, we're all alone. And no one's coming to save you. Be happy with Peter. You don't believe that. Not really. You want to be brave? Take a risk. Tell me to wait for you and say those words and I will. It would take real courage, wouldn't it? See you're still alive. I bet you are. Surprised you ended up in New York City. Thought you'd get yourself a cabin in the woods. Montana, maybe. What do you want, Mark? It's time to come home, John. The slate's been wiped clean. Imagine no more tears. You know that'll never happen. sold you out. They got to her. Yeah, they're clever like that. You I wanted to say thank you, Harold. For giving me a second chance. It's not over, John. I'm close. Just get to the ground floor. No. You stay away. We would risk it.
attendez Next time. Jaws taking a cut of her operation. Which do you like better? Good cop or bad cop? You tell me. Am I under with HR? Am I working cases with you? I'll let you know. Intercepted unauthorized communications between her and this man. A go-between for Hezbollah. Large deposits into an offshore account. She's been compromised. As her partner, you should have noticed. Clean up her own mess, Reese. You know that. You get this done, you can have all the leave you need. You understand? Get down!
John Rooney. Assets. It's me, Jessica. I mean, I don't even know if you checked this number. Um, I need to talk. Jessica, I got your message. I don't know if you'd call me back. We haven't talked in, what, four years? What's wrong? Is everything okay with Peter? Yeah, he's fine. We're both fine. I just needed a friend that I could talk to. Something's wrong. Talk to me. You know, you were right. In the airport, the last time I saw you, you said that in the end we were all alone. I should go. Jesse. I don't. I'm coming to get you. I'll be there in 24 hours. Wait for me. was all too slick, too complicated. A stockbroker and a finance cop couldn't pull this off, no. But there was someone else behind the scenes. Someone who hired a team of assassins, who knew a bill would pass in state government weeks before it did. Someone who could use 300 million to finance a personal war. So what's this? The bigger picture. John, it's been a long time. <laughs>